Jadi Pak ini There is something quite cathartic about experiencing cringe with all of you. How we on a monthly basis get together to see clearly problematic content, almost taking the shape of addicts who need their monthly dose of cringe. For those new on the channel, the matlab kuch bhi episodes focus on some of the most uncomfortable sequences from Indian movies that either showcase regressive themes or are so illogical that you wonder about the intellect and capability of the audience and the makers who made these films. Some of the biggest blockbusters when they released. So here is Trident and Refuse Productions with five embarrassing Indian movie scenes and dialogues that will make you cringe. Ravan. I know we've spoken about this movie multiple times, but I had to get this out of my chest. Ever since the abysmal response of Adi Purush from the very first day its teaser dropped, there has been a discourse online about the quality of the superhero directed film Ravan. How the technical work done by Shahrukh Khan's company Red Chillies regarding its VFX was ahead of its time. While this point stays true without any doubt, there was also a resurgence of thoughts insinuating that the film deserved a better reception than what it received when it released. After revisiting Ravan, I can wholeheartedly I tell you that this new formed love for Ravan stems more from needing an answer or counter to the lies we were sold with Adi Purush versus actually assessing the quality of Ravan as a story. Ravan is a confused and half baked khichdi from a screenplay perspective and this is something that Anubhav Sinha has admitted to speaking about how the film was confused on whether they wanted it to be an unapologetic superhero action film or a commercial entertainer for families so what is level 2 mm. what is level 3 what is this child wearing it was absolutely beyond their understanding and at the same time the story it was meant to the people it was meant for they said what is this south indian doing here why are they making this one mm. what is this funny thing going on there While we have in great length spoken about SRK as Shekhar Subramanyam his obsession with noodles and curd his correction of condom condom to kunjum kunjum and randomly referencing V Shantaram but what perturbs me the most is the double meaning nature of Ravan a year played by Satish Shah as an annoying Tamil neighbor has odd sexual innuendos an unnecessary homoerotic scene exists with a TSA at the airport i got so confused with the theme the film wanted to be a superhero fun film for kids or a commercial masala film with double meaning dialogues shekhar took the shape of becoming a socially inept and borderline creep versus an endearing nerd the latter might have been the film's intention for a film that is catered to be entertaining for kids to introduce your main character doing this staring at a blonde woman's bosom because the car keys have fallen in them it makes me think that the makers were confused about the tonality of the film from the onset this followed by not only shekhar but his game creation g1 being obsessed with bosoms made me wonder what srk was really going for with these gags so laser focused on boobles of a woman oh Now it all makes sense. Boys, one of the most popular Tamil films that kick-started the careers of the likes of Siddharth and Janilia especially was the Shankar directed film Boys. The film was focused on the journey of self-discovery as a group of boys consume most of their times with all the vices under the sky, smoking, drinking, sex and ogling at women. While the portrayal of a group of boys making mistakes in their early adult life is reflective of an age demographic that does not know any better, and Shankar leaves no stone unturned in shedding light on the extremely uncomfortable, I thought the visuals in the song girlfriend are wild and disturbing while having aspirations to have a girlfriend the sequence of the song presents the group of boys slyly staring and groping women to their hearts content this is not showcased as something problematic but it's an attempt at fun carefree self discovery with a playful song composed by ar rahman if you ask any girl in india she will at least have one or two horrifying encounters of groping to tell you about something that has left her scarred especially in means of public transport so for a sequence to present the same grave and terrible act as lighthearted fun is nothing but tone deaf and disturbing ra 
with all the discourse of movies where we find protagonists being violent towards women hateful of the sex due to prior experiences upon exploring the kannada superstar upendra's filmography you realize that a lot of his movies in the 90s leading up to the mid 2000s had some of the most uncomfortable and regressive sequences nothing comes close to the terrible scenes in the telugu movie ra that released in 2001 upendra's character has the sole intention of destroying every woman in his college this has motivations tied going into his brother who he believes committed suicide as he was rejected by a woman essentially developing a woman hating machine who attracts them makes them desperate and eager for sex only to leave them high and dry without doing the deed you know you know you know I'm a virgin i love girls because i need girls i need girls you know why i hate girls When Upendra finally meets his match who doesn't budge to his advances he absolutely loses it constantly harassing her shocked at the fact that someone is not head over heels for his charm He is physically violent and leaves no stone unturned in making her life hell. These sequences are so uncomfortable to watch, you wonder whether it reaches the category of torture porn rather than a genuine jilted lover tale. Chalo nu nanu naakma cheyalanu nuste. Nen nee nuchi tappichu kuru parigetanu. Aina nee nee pranalu kaapadanu. Daniki parichanga mari nu nanu rekcha daniki prayatinchu. Nee kasar maaravatho leda. You you are a sick maniac. Come on. Rekcha yee. Rekcha yee. All of this while still trying to convince us that he is still a saint. Bharatiya purusha ne chaptra ani mero. I am the best example for Indian men. Meanwhile, vakati me antara nuve vachi na ko mutu petali. Ledante vilandaro ni rape chastaru. A terrible and uncomfortable watch indeed. Animal. For all the stylized set pieces and the larger than life presentation of characters by Sandeep Reddy Vanga in Animal upon rewatch I still don't understand how Vanga thought that Tripti Dimri's integration in the storyline and Ranbir Kapoor's defense of the infidelity seemed plausible There is so much conflict and build up to how Bobby Deol is introduced it sets you up perfectly making you think that the director is going to deep dive on the family animosity and history but you are left blue balled for Ranbir to play pati patni or wo a sex filled fair is followed by a custom hickey colored rolls royce the goal for ranvijay to present zoya as a prop while showcasing the color to the employees and with a straight face telling her that they are professional i don't care how in love a woman is this is bound to annoy anyone with the slightest self respect The biggest WTF is not only the Hickey Rolls Royce as a sign of love and devotion but Ranvijay confessing that he orchestrated the blast so that she can come clean. Intel about the family dynamic could have easily been extracted out of Suresh Obroy and Anil Kapoor but Ranveer deems it fit to extract the same by having unprotected sex with a girl only for her to fall in love with him because his game is a 10 on 10 so she is bound to go gaga nothing also beats ranvijay hilariously telling his wife that he did all of this for information while also telling rashmika that she wouldn't have the ability to cheat on him and if she did he would kill that man तो मेंटेल के बहाने मजे लूटो और वाइफ अगर हाइपोथेटिकल डाले तो तुम्हें पैनिक अटैक हो जाए दिस पोर्शन ऑफ द फिल्म एंड इट्स डीरेलमेंट ऑफ अ ब्यूटीफुल सेटअप स्टिल पिस इज मी ऑफ इडियट You know if a Balaya film is not going to feature in the matlab kuch bhi episode then a puri jagannath film is definitely going to make an entry. I find Ravi Teja to be such an entertaining actor having such an infectious energy on screen but so many of his films are laced with such misogyny and creepiness especially the manner in which he quotes the opposite sex. In the very popular idiot Ravi Teja gets injured and is found in a dreadful physical state in the middle of the road only for a girl to transport him to the hospital pay his medical bill and donate him blood. This selfless act makes the hero fall in love with the heroine by the way without meeting the girl. He constantly annoys her claiming that he loves her and that she should concede to his advances. Tumhe kya laga tum bhagaoge to bhag jaunga use aur tumhe dono ko sabak sikhaunga samajh gayi kya dekh rahi ho She is extremely clear of her annoyance rejecting him incessantly but he keeps on approaching her already assuming that she one day is going to say yes going on to throw rocks and breaking her windows to grab her attention Suchi tum jaanti ho na main roz yahan aakar line maarta hu agar bahar aakar khadi rahogi to tumhara kya jayega He never gets the hint and the movie works on the principle of teaching boys that persistence is key one day or the other the girl is going to concede to your advances even if it is essentially harassment and stalking when the girl 
reaches her breaking point, she requests her father, the commissioner of police, to take some action. He gives him a full beating, only for the hero to deem it fit to sneak into her house, pounce on top of her in bed, and threaten her with a knife, claiming to not give up with his stalking only because of a mere beating. चीखी तो मरेगी वैसे भी मुझ जैसा पति तुझे नहीं मिलेगा चांस ही नहीं है तेरे माँ बाप ने पुण्य किए होंगे जो ने मैं मिला This act is passed off as comedy as Ravi keeps on telling the girl that he knows she loves him. The best way Indian films prove their love for one another is also tested in this film. मेरे लिए कुछ भी कर सकते हो? Anything. तो इस बिल्डिंग से नीचे कूद जाओ. Of course, our lover does the same, only to save himself by the way mid fall. You know why? To say the most brain dead romantic line known to mankind. मैं मर गया तो तुम्हारे साथ कौन रहेगा? And of course, the dim-witted fool of a woman who lacks any kind of self-respect has only one reaction. Are you dumb? <laughs> and that was the video, guys. Write down in the comments below whether you have some video ideas for our channel. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle is right in front of you. Follow me at Jammy Pants Four. Also, please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.